Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we'll learn how to install web server on Windows 11 machine. So if you're new to my channel, new to my channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Open your favorite browser. I'm opening Google Chrome. So type here web. Now click on the first link. And from here, now you have to click on uh, based on your system requirements, uh, web server 64 bit or 32 bit. So I have 64 bit. So how can you check the bits of your computer? You can check the details of the system from here. So in my case, I have 64 bit system. System type 64 bit. So I have to download 64 bit. So you can download according to your uh, system requirements. So I'll download this one. You can download directly. Okay. So it will take a little time according to your internet speed. So for the time saving purpose, I already download the setup. So you can. Go to download folder. So we have here BAM server 3.2.3.3.264 bit. So before we install the BAM server, we have uh, some prerequisites to install uh, VC Redux. So for that, go to your Google again, Chrome, and type here BAM server add ons. And from here, click on the first link. So from here, we have to download. We will see plus plus uh, distribution packages, and so uh, it will go to download all VC distribution packages from here. So just click on it, and it will take a little time according to your speed. So for the time saving purpose, I only download this one. So first, we install the redistribution packages. We have to extract it here. Extract here. All extract and. So we have to install all of these one by one. So we are on uh, 64 bits. So I'll just install, we see mm -hmm. 208 first one, click on yes. Next close, next one windows. Click on next, I have read, install. Finish. So after that, I'll install the 2008 SP1 64-bit. So that we have to install 2010 SP1. Save the result. So then we have to install so two thousand thirteen UPD five just for which click on install, agree, and click on yes. Make sure to install uh, 64 bit for uh, if you have a or if you are on 64 bit system. So the last one, the 2022. Click on yes. So 
it's taking a different time, so. So I will install the Netron. So now I will install the VAMP because I have installed the prerequisites. So let's go to downloads directory. We have installed the redistribution packages. Now I'll install the VAMP server. So click on the setup and then click on yes. Yes, English. You can choose your own language. I accept the agreement. Click on next. Next. So uh, it uh, states that we have installed the the uh, x86 packages okay let's try it. get back to okay get back to the packages and we need to install the x86 packages also okay install yes Make sure to install all of them. Let's try to install again. So I'll keep the default path C Vamp sixty four. So it is easy to track down here. So you can see so it, this time it's, uh, it did not show the uh, alert to install the packages. So it will take a little time. So Vamp server have uh, I prefer more to use Vamp server over Vamp and other ones because it have more control on UI and it's flexible to change uh, the uh, PHP and MySQL versions. So I'm pausing the video here till it's complete. So, do you want to choose another browser in install on your system? No, I will go with the default. No, I go with the default for now.
So the basic step is complete. No one need to click on next and finish. So let's try to run web server. Click on yes. So you can see our VAM server is running up and running with green color. So when we have green color, it means all of our services are running. So let's try to go to localhost. So, so the flexibility we have in VAM server, we can change the PHP version from here. Like we have five or six of them here and we can also change the Apache version. We can add one more from here and same uh, the PHP my admin version and my SQL version. So we can all uh, show them all of them. Okay, so let's try to create a demo project. So go to the PC, PC, RAM64, WLU, and we need to create here a project. New demo. So let's talk to you by and capital PHP. Let's try to open in Notepad and just write. Save it and let's try to operate in browsers. Showing text because uh, so just key name and just remove the dot from the app. Click on OK and when we back to the browser and refresh, we have the PHP port running. So good luck, guys. If you have any curious feel free to comment below, subscribe and like the video.